The heft and feel of a well-worn handle, the sight of shavings that curl from a blade, the logs in the wood pile, the sentiment of huge beams in an old-fashioned house, the smell of fresh-cut timber and the pungent fragrance of burning leaves, the crackle of kindling and the hiss of burning logs, abundant to all the needs of people, how poor the world would be without wood. For me, you know, the process is so important and I realize that, you know, if I'm going to do this with my life, it's going to have to be an act a process that I actually enjoy. Acting a process on a material that has a um, kind of a, like an affectionate, but also um, like a logical um, way of moving um, in it, like chiseling wood, for example, by hand. Like some years removed, the uh, piece is entirely about the process. And what's really, I think, great about that work is that you see exactly what happened. Um, and that kind of clarity uh, and simplicity is sort of what I'm going for. I guess there's a kind of arrogance associated with leaving a mark, but like most artists, I'm actually happy to see the mark. Um, you know, I like these little uh, chisel marks, and I don't know, this bigger difference, I guess, in the color, uh, the color variation here. So there's a really thin um, kind of membrane sort of skin on top of um, this particular growth ring that I isolated. So the original inspiration was uh, something I remembered about the way uh, Japanese woodworkers would address the situation of narrowing a board, and they did it in this really, I thought, yeah, and not just I thought, I know, a uh, reverent way, which was that they would remove uh, years of growth with the draw knives instead of just like running it through a table saw. Which was just really beautiful, and it stuck with me for a long time. Is I'm realizing now that maybe the way I work is not as traditional as I sometimes think it is. Um, does that make sense? Not really. yeah, yeah, totally. It's like a weird combination of um, traditional techniques and kind of techniques that just work. It's a hybrid. It's a hybrid. So that piece was uh, in the beginning more of a form, more of a material study. I realized when cutting the homo that if you cut it with a utility knife it formed a really smooth like shark skin kind of or maybe like more like a seal coat shiny, silvery surface. I guess problem with, well, maybe some of the problem and maybe some of the success of that piece is that pomiso is such a neutral, like, blank material. It's this, you know, really um, lacking kind of gray and uh, sort of a neither here nor there in um, hierarchy of materials, maybe. It's kind of nondescript. Um, and so, it's really different for me because it's sort of like using a material um, and embracing its neutrality. But I work in a way typically that uh, is emphasizing the non-neutrality of the material. I realized that when I'm, you know, executing this um, pipe made out of sticks, which, like, as you can hear me, it's like kind of this one-liner pipe made out of sticks. Um, I realized that um, it had no mystery left in it for me. It was I knew it sort of exactly what it would look like when it was finished, and you know I didn't see a reason to finish it. The the process is uh, you know riding around on my bike, taking pictures of things in my neighborhood, which is 
built with these industrial job lots. And the objects that live in these job lots are in piles and they're very, you know, sort of minimalist grid and stacked in, in their orientation. Um, and now I've moved into uh, a place which is, you know, still really uncharted for me been a way of working that's really uncharted for me. I um, am now going to be doing these, you know, more image-based things where I'm actually making a, a representation or a replica of an image. Are they going to be the size of the real pieces? Or are you going to tweak, somehow play with, you know, that reality or that the idea that it's been remade by playing with the dimensions a little bit? From the photographs, uh, then I'm doing drawings, little sketches. And then from the sketches come these little balsa wood models. So it's already been filtered like three times. And then they're going to go into larger scale format. Um, and the it'll be the first time that I've actually experimented with um, scale, I think. Uh, and in that I'm probably not going, going to make them exactly how they would be and maybe some of them will be but others will be larger maybe, and some will be half scale and you know, see what happens there. I am interested in the idea of exploring the relationship between ancient or outmoded building methods and newer contemporary standardized industrial building methods.